Hi, I'm Judith Patterson, a Stampin' Up! Independent Demonstrator in Texas. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a small slimline card using the um, Peaceful Deer Bundle from the mini catalog. And we're also going to be using the Bedazzling paper from Celebration. And, um, and then this designer series paper is called Peaceful Prints, and it is also from the Celebration brochure. Um, if you would like to have one of those brochures, if you're in the United States and don't already have a demonstrator, I would love to send you a celebration brochure as well as um, our mini catalog. And if you need one, the annual catalog as well. So just leave a comment or um, send me a message and I'll, I'll link in the description below how to contact me um, if you would like to have one of those. And if you have any questions about this card or any other Stampin' Up! products, then let me know. Um, and I'll be glad to answer those questions as well. Um, yeah, that's it. Let me get the camera turned around and we'll jump right into creating this card. Okay, so here's some of the things that we're going to use. Of course, we have the Peaceful Deer stamps. We'll be using the Merry Christmas and sending love and peace this season. And then we also have the um, punch that is part of that bundle. And you can always purchase the punch alone or the stamp set alone, but if you do purchase the bundle together, then it's 10% off. So that's always a, a good choice if you think you're gonna end up with both of them anyway. We're also gonna be using the layering circle styles. And the only ink we're using this time is the Tuxedo Black Memento ink. I have the mini Stampin' Cut Emboss Machine. Um, of course, you can use either one. If you have the big one, you can use it, or the this mini one is perfect for this project. So as far as cardstock goes, did I say that we're using the layering circle styles? Can't remember, but we will be la using layering circle styles. This, is the one we're going to be using and it is almost two and a quarter inches um, it's more like a two and an eighth but if you have a two inch punch or a two and a quarter inch punch actually so you can punch this paper i don't recommend it it will dull your punch faster and um when I used it, my punch got stuck. This is just really thick, stubborn material. Um, so I would, I would not recommend punching it. I would just use the die cuts, but it's gorgeous paper. Even like pictures, cameras of any kind, they just don't do, a, do it justice. It is so pretty in person. It's like a party on paper. Okay, so for our mini slimline cards, um, our cut my card base six and a quarter inches by six and a half inches and then I scored it at three and a quarter inches um, I like doing it that way for two reasons one I can use a half a sheet of six by six paper and it fits on the front here perfectly um, the other reason is Gloves that I have. I get them from Target and they're six and three quarter inches. Um, so actually they, they measure six and a half inches by three and five eighths of an inch and they are perfect for these cards. In fact, I'm going to pull one out right now. Okay, so for the Peaceful Prince Designer Series paper, this is two and a half inches by four inches. It's going to go in here like this. Um, and I just grabbed a scrap for the reindeer punch. The part we're using is two and a quarter inches by almost two and a half inches. This piece is for the inside. And so is this one. So this is a quarter inch by six inches. This is two and three quarter inches by six inches. And then we have two pieces of basic white cardstock that measures 
half an inch by three inches and then a red one that measures half an inch by three inches. So the first thing that we're going to do is get our pieces all together. So I'm going to get the bedazzling paper and I'm going to go ahead and cut out my circle. Sometimes I don't get this lined up to strap and then it doesn't want to go through. There we go. So there's my circle and I can put this away now. So the next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and punch out my deer. So I always turn my punch upside down as I'm punching so that I can make sure that my cardstock is lined up where I want it. And I'm going to go ahead and grab my liquid glue and put these antlers on my reindeer um, so that I don't lose them. If you watched my last video, you know I have a tendency of putting things down and then um, they get stuck to something or they get tucked into something or they get knocked off the table. I, for, I just lose them. I lose little pieces. I have, though, since that video, I grabbed this little container. It's about a three and a half inch container that I'm just keeping on my desk so that when I have little pieces, I can put them in that and um, then I don't lose them. Okay, so that guy looks good. And I have another little container on my desk that's for little bits of trash. It's just a small jar. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is this red piece. I'm going to take my paper snips and I'm just going to cut a diagonal. And there's no particular way to do this. Um, that's not a specific angle or anything like that. I just, I just cut an angle. So I have the Merry Christmas stamp and one of the half inch pieces. And the reason why I have two pieces is in case I mess up on my stamp or on my cutting. So the second one is just a backup. You don't really have to have two. I can't really see what I'm doing here. And see, I missed my S. So I could turn it over, but I'm just going to grab my backup piece. Can you see what I'm doing? Okay, I know you're getting a good look at the top of my head. That's awkward. There we go. Okay, and then on this one, since I have my ink out, I'm just going to go ahead and stamp the other one on the inside as well. And I'm just lining this up in the middle of that, the top piece. Um, the top of that piece of basic black cardstock. Okay, so this can be thrown away. And now to cut my angle, because I do want to try to get this one to match the other one, and I want to make sure that I have my word centered on here pretty well. So I'm just lining this up, and then I'm going to hold it together and follow along that cut I've already made. And then I'm going to flip it over and do the same thing on the other side. Okay, 
and I can kind of see through this basic lot when I'm holding it just right in the lot. Um, so I know it's where I want it. And now I'm going to cut it ooh, this way. Okay, so now it's time to put everything together. I mean, this is a quick card. All right, so I'm going to use my liquid glue. You can use snail adhesive, liquid glue, tear and tape, whatever it is that you like to put your cards together with. There's so many options these days. I uh, really still like my glue. Okay, and I'm somewhat centering this. It doesn't have to be perfect, but I do want it up against this edge. Then I'm going to figure out where I'm going to place my deer. So I want my deer to go about there. So that means I want my red piece to go here. So I'm just going to flip it over. And now I've kind of got an idea where I want it. So I'm going to add my glue. Then I'm going to put it back on. Make sure it's straight against the edge. Okay, now I'm going to glue my circle on. And now I'm putting the circle fully on the um, designer series paper here and just slightly overlapping the red strip. And then I'm going to use Stampin' Dimensionals and you can use mini dimensionals or um, the full size dimensionals. I'm using those because I have them right here, but in a minute I also have the mini dimensionals right here. I keep them both on my desk so that they're easy to grab. So I'll use the mini to put the deer on. So that's a good spot for that. You can see the red on three sides, which is what I was aiming for. So I'm going to get my mini Stampin' Dimensionals and put them on the back of the deer. That one's stick. Oh, somehow I've already taken the cover off of it, so it's sticky on both sides. And I know I get carried away with Stampin' Dimensionals. I don't know about y'all, but I find these, even with my little trash bin on my desk, I find the backings to these things everywhere. Okay, so I'm going to have his little foot overlapping this white piece just a little. And there we are. That is the front of this card already ready. So for the inside, we're going to take this piece and I'm going to center it up and down, but horizontally I'm not centering it because I'm going to add this strip to the side. So I want it closer to this edge. I'm trying to get an even spacing between the three outer edges. Then I'm going to add glue to this dedazzling strip. It's a fun name, isn't it? Bedazzling. I feel like every time I say it, I'm telling myself to be dazzling.
Okay. So there we have our sparkle on the inside of the card as well. I love sparkle. All right, what do y'all think? Do you like this card? I think um, this is a good layout that could be used for a lot of things, but this reindeer on top of this bedazzling paper is just wonderful. My camera's trying to focus there. That's better. Okay, so Friday I will be on with a card from the catalog, and it's probably going to be another card from our celebration brochure because there's so many good things in that brochure. Um, if there's a card that you would like to see made, whether it's from our current annual catalog, the mini catalog, or the celebration brochure, be sure and let me know, and I'll do my best to get at least a version of that card made for you. It may not be exactly like it is in the catalog, but it'll be close. Um, and of course, I will let you know how it's done, if at all possible. And um, like I said, if you have any questions about Stampin' Up, about being a demonstrator, about the products, um, techniques, whatever, just let me know. Send me a comment, and I will be happy to answer those questions. Um, I'm also posting this card on my blog today, so I'll leave um, a link in the description to my blog. And you can see the measurements there. There will be some simple instructions and, of course, all the links um, to the products that were used to make this card. So I hope you're having a great day. Happy stamping. Bye-bye.